Ayun. Ganda ng gabi po sa lahat. This is Coach Linin Hu, empowering Pinoy's, especially the 40s and above, to rebuild their health by gaining muscles. Let me know from the comment section below. Ano po yung last meal natin? Or maybe, where are you tuning from so that I can recognize you and your presence because I honor and value your time. Hello po sa mga live viewers natin. Again, we'll talk about three health risks of not exercising. Ano po yung mangyayari if you don't prioritize exercise, if you are not active, and most of the time, nasa laptop ka lang, or maybe nasa cellphone ka lang, and you're not doing something to circulate your blood flow, and of course, yung benefits later, we'll talk about it, and some misconceptions about working out. So again, for our viewers, if you don't have the ebook yet, uh, kindly share this video, and I will give you your ebook completely free. And if you find value dito sa live natin, kindly share it to your friends, or maybe tag your friends so that they will be helped by our live discussion. Tulungan po natin yung isa-isa, especially yung mga Pinoy, not just in the Philippines, but abroad, that there is hope. You can still regain your health. You can take your life back by doing the right thing with your health at saka with your fitness. So there you have it. And of course, I'd like to tell you a story of mine. I started with a very skinny at saka sickly most of my life. So ito po ako sa life. A lack of hope. I thought po most of my life I would die na sickly at saka skinny. But I did the, the right decision. I surrounded myself with experts, great people who are willing to help me. So again, uh, not just weight but muscle mass. That's what our goal is. And of course, I transition from that and then this one. And it's possible through right information at saka right dedication. Hello po sa mga live viewers natin tonight. Hello to Ma'am Rizali Bentura. As always, present yan. Kamu sa yung workout natin, Ma'am Rizali. Nakita ko yung video mo right, by the way. Na I think yung anak mo is nag-workout. Tapos I think na-inspire siya at saka minodel mo sa kanya. For sure, nakikita na ka na nag-workout din. So yun yung beauty ng working out and then yung people around you will be influenced for good. So you are a good influencer to your family, Ma'am Riza Lee. Hello to you, Blessy. Watching from Pangasinan last meal, 3 p.m. doing 8 and 6 intermittent fasting. Great to see you, Ma'am. Mirna Bern Barnido. Kamusta po kayo, ma'am? Kamusta yung workout natin? Kamusta yung meals natin? Hello to you as well, uh, Sir Dexter Bautista. Uh, FJ Seneca, kamusta po kayo, ma'am? And then, ma'am, Lisa Libintura, yes, yes. And of course, thank you for adding at saka tagging your friends here. Okay, so ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, ma'am, at saka mga sirs, first and foremost, good news po to, kasi rarely na mag-share po ako ng mga slides or some insights na sinishare ko sa exclusive class dun sa WTG. So as you know, I am part of WTG, Worth the Gain Academy, at saka nagkakondak ako ng exclusive class sa mga students. And may mga information ako daw na dinidisclose sa group na sometimes is not openly accepted and accepted at the same time, uh, hindi ka, may mga information kasi na suitable lang siya for small group. Yun po, siya, yun po yung what I mean. May mga information din na okay siya i-share sa public. Kasi very large community, you don't know ano po yung pag-accept uh, at saka pag-receive ng people from different walks of life. Okay, so yung good news po for tonight is this. Kasi I will share yung exactly slide, yung exact slides that I used last time sa WTG class namin. So, you are blessed to watch this live and I hope you can learn a lot from this. First and foremost, when we talk about exercise and working out, it is always best to ask professional advice about your need at saka your goal. We are coming from a different background at saka different din na starting point for some of you may injury, some of you may concerns heart or something like that. It's always best to ask professional advice with that one. But of course, what I'm about to share is based po exactly sa what I have researched. Sensible, uh, hard facts about working out. At the same time, it is also based on what I have witnessed personally within myself 
at saka mga people po sa students ko na binigyan ko po ng principle about working out. Also, when we talk about exercise, when you talk about exercise, how do you define exercise? It's not just about working out or with lifts talaga. Exercise could also be defined as walking, also running, also uh, low intensity, also moderate resistance training, also using resistance bands. So as long as you are moving, that is a form of exercise. So yun po yung very important point. Ah. So meron po tayong quick na game. Sino po gustong mag-join ng game natin for tonight? So ang gagawin natin, very simple lang. You will answer lang by saying never or yes dito sa comment section natin sa Facebook. If you have experienced this, can you type, type mo lang po a uh, yes. At saka, if hindi mo siya na-experience, never. Sa mga hindi magre-reply, meaning to say, sabi nila, silence means yes daw, sabi nila. So, make sure then that you're responding. Let's make this fun, ah, yung discussion natin tonight. Okay, sige. So, atin-atin lang to. If may mga sensitive questions dito, no, let's see lang if. Let's, let's make fun. And yun ang goal natin ng, ng game natin. Okay, been chased by a dog. Okay, never or yes. Never or yes. Maybe high school, elementary, okay. Nursery, <laughs> kindergarten. Na experience mo na ba? Na habulin ka ng aso. Okay. Kasi ma'am Rosalina, ma'am Blessy, ma'am Rizali. Ikaw si Jali. Okay, ma'am Evelyn. FJ, never. Wow. Sana all. Gloria, at saka, of course, Gloria, at saka si Dexter. Mostly, yes. Yeah. So, hindi po kayo nag-iisa. Exactly po. Yun din po experience ko, not just in high school, not just in elementary days, but also in college days, ha. At saka, even nag-work na ako. Kasi most of the time, transportation, commute lang, eh. So, may exposure talaga sa mga dogs, di ba? Pangalawa, have you stalked your crush? Okay. If your husband or wife is not with you, of course, you don't need to answer this, no? <laughs> but for others, depressed, maybe you're open to talk about this. Stock, have you stalked your crush? Social media. Or maybe nakulus ka lang sa life ng crush mo. Chinak mo lang if anong kinabibisiyan niya sa work. Or maybe medyo kulus ka lang, yun lang. Okay, walang halong mali siya dyan. Okay? Sabi dito ni Ma'am Pichi, oh yes, okay. Um, Rizali with ha ha pa. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, bless you, yes. With smiley, smiley. Yes, sabi ni Ma'am Marilyn. <laughs> I mean, absolutely, yes. Absolutely talaga. No. Never si Ma'am Gloria. Wow. At saka si Ma'am FJ. Yes daw. Okay. Yeah, it's again. We're loving this. Been sent to the principal's office. So, na-try mo na to. Sinend ka sa principal, principal's office. Okay. Maybe during high school, uh, elementary, maybe if, if college, maybe. Okay, so let's see. Sabi dito ni Ma'am uh, Evelyn, yes. Ma'am Gloria, yes. Ma'am Gloria, for sure si Ma'am Gloria honor student the most of the time. So, sabi dito naman, blessing, no, mabait ako ng bata. Okay. Never then, yung mga, grabe mga, I see Ma'am Royce, Ma'am Ina, Ma'am Rizali, never. Sabi ni FJ, yes. Sabi ni Ma'am Evelyn, yes. Ma'am Peachy, yes. Never doubt. Sabi ni Ma'am Rosalina. Yung sa akin, I've experienced it multiple times. Elementary, high school. Experience ko yan. So, I was never a good student most of my time, no? Uh, most of my life. Nung college na ako ng transition talaga na medyo nag-improve ng konti. <laughs> Sige. Next, gone to work or school with mismatching shoes. So, kunwari, yung left shoe mo uh, rubber shoes, yung right mo na shoes, okay, naka ano ka, naka black shoes ka nga rin, <laughs> mismatching shoes. Na-experience na to. Okay. Sabi dito ni Ma'am Remedios, yes daw. Na-experience mo na, Ma'am Remedios. Sabi ni Ma'am Gloria, never, uy, okay. Sabi ni FJ, yeah, mostly, uy, ne mostly never, no? Never ko din siya na-experience. Pero na-experience ko yung ano, yung black shoes ko, Tapos yung kabilang, uh, dito, yung, yung heels ng black shoes na, na, na iwan. <laughs> Nilalakad ako ng college. Na iwan siya. 
So, that was very awkward, no? And then, of course, dapat talaga magpumili ka ng black shoes, matiba yung pong or yung uh, heels niya. Tama? Okay. Na-try nyo na to. Set my or someone else hair on fire on purpose. Okay. Na-try nyo na to. Nang inexperimentuhan nyo lang na yung buhok nyo or with your friend or maybe sibling nyo, pinausok nyo. Okay. At saka, na-curious ko lang maybe ano yung amoy niya How does it ano, smell like yung buhok? Okay. Sabi dito ni Ma'am Shayo, never pa daw. Never din si Ma'am Gloria. Okay, that's good. Ma'am FJ, yes. Ma'am Gloria, yes daw. Ma'am Evelyn, never. Okay. No daw, sabi ni Ma'am Blessy. Oy, mga, mga behave to. Have experienced, I have experienced it nung elementary day ako. Uh, medyo kumuha ko light. Eh. Kasi na-curious ako ano yung ano yung amoy ng ng buhok? Medyo mabaho siya, di ba? So, sa mga nakalilate lang, yes, of course, inamoy pa, sabi ni Mama Nizali. Yeah, my sister, when we were young. <laughs> okay, tininipingan daw si the sister, Ma'am Juan. Okay, no down, no na experience niya. Okay. Okay, na-try nyo na to. Okay, atin-atin lang to, ah. Na-try nyo na ba? Okay, mag-umihi sa pool. Okay. <laughs> Tapos, medyo na experience nyo din ba? na medyo uminit yung 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 pool because of what you've done. Natay nyo na ba yan? Okay. Okay lang. If hindi ka uh, mag-respond, no, walang mag-judge sa'yo. Sabi ni Ma'am Blessy, yes, with ha ha ha. Sabi dito ni Ma'am Gloria, yes. Okay. Ma'am Blessy, yes daw. Ma'am Joan, yes. Ma'am Evelyn, yes. Yeah, all that time. <laughs> all that time talaga. Okay. Pero ba yun? Yes. I have experienced it, especially sa mga, kasi, Um, there were times kasi kapag maginaw, nasistimulate kasi yung 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 katawan mo to ihi eh. So, minsan, experience ko yan kasi medyo malayo yung CR. Diba? Tapos, yung mindset mo naman, may chlorine naman eh. Diba? Diba? Meron ganun na, ano, na idea na medyo, maano lang siya, maka-cleanse lang siya through chlorine. Okay. So, sige. Thank you everyone for, again, a very fun interaction. Minsan, never have I natin na activity. I am so Kumbaga, hop, pipe, at saka hype with our quick activity. Sige, question ko sa'yo, sa ating lahat. Before we talk about workout or saka exercise, at saka yung mga health risks na mangyayari if you don't prioritize this. What is the number one reason you exercise? And this question only applies to those who are working out and those who are intentional with walking or maybe running. Or maybe sports activities like jog, uh, running, cycling, swimming, basketball, soccer. So, ano po yung main reason? Bakit ka po nag-exercise? Okay. So, sabi dito ni Ma'am Shai, to get fit. I agree with that. I also agree with you, Ma'am Blessy, to gain or tone my muscles. Sabi dito ni Ma'am Gloria, gain muscles. So, most of the time when we talk about workout, usually, ang benefit at saka yung gusto natin ma-achieve is to gain muscles. Usually, to get fit. For my mental health, sabi ni Ma'am Ina, to feel good after a, a workout, yeah. Ma'am Blizzly, a good mood, gain muscle at saka get fit. Ma'am Evelyn, to gain weight and tone my muscles. So that's the usual thing. We work out because we want to get fit. We want to gain muscles. We don't want to be uh, underweight. At saka we want to have a productive life. Now, it's not just that. I won't discuss about the body composition tonight. I will talk about the deeper reasons bakit kinakailangan natin mag-work out. Okay. Ano yung mga very beneficial na miss mo if you don't work out? Sige, so, I will share to you this video. This will be a short video. Hopefully, mag play siya. Okay. Okay, let's see if pwede siya mag-play ya. Okay. Parang hindi siya pwede ma-play. Okay. Yung video na to, it's about the youth, the iron Nike run. Okay. Try ko dito play sa skin ko ngayon. Okay. Bear with me, ah. Kasi pakita ko to yung reason why. Uh, okay. Bakit tayo nag-work out? Okay. Ano siya? Nakita ko na yung 
video. So let's see if applicable dito sa screen natin ngayon. Okay. Ito na siya. Okay, let's see. If kaya siya. Share screen. And then, there you have it. Madonna Buter, an 86-year-old nun... Oh, sorry, sister. Sister Madonna Buter, 86 years old, goes for a morning run. Good for you, sister. She's still active at her age. That's great. Oh, maybe a little too active. Nap time, sister? I don't think so. The sister doesn't think so. Okay. Wait, what? Iron Man. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a bad idea, sister. A real bad idea. So Relax, stop. she's the Iron Nun. But she won't make it. This is an Iron Man. The first 45 didn't kill me. You've done 45 of these? Okay. Do your thing, sister. Do your thing. Okay. So there you see, yung, if you don't have deep why with workout, hindi ka mag, magbibigay ng time at saka yung tinatawag natin na commitment at saka dedication sa workout. Di ba? Whether we like it or not, we would agree na yung work it out, working out is not easy. Tama? It would take effort, commitment, at saka sacrifice. Si, si Lola, yung sa Unlimited Youth, the Iron Man, na, na Nike, na commercial, 80 plus, di ba? Why would she give time, hours, training, and everything out for, you know, for, for just for body composition? I don't think so. Meron siyang deep why, why she does that. So, yun po yung pag-uusapan natin tonight. Ano ba yung mga deep why natin when it comes to working out? So, there you have it. Number one. Okay. Ano mangyayari if you don't work out? If you don't prioritize resistance training. Number one is osteoporosis. And I like to mention this. This is very common to women. Sa mga babae. Very common to sa kanila. And I will answer why later. So dito sa study natin, if you look deeper dito, no, this is from NIH, no, National, uh, National Library of Medicine. PubMed. Okay, ito yung study natin. So dito, yung topic niya is impact of muscle atrophy okay, on bone metabolism and bone strength. Implications for muscle bone cause talk with aging and disuse. So ano pa mangyayari if we don't work out? At saka yung link niya sa bones natin. Ito po yung results. Okay? Take a look. Ha. Basahin ko dito yung naka, nakakulay violet. Another study including 1,308 men and 1,171 women over 65 years old showed that, okay, that low muscle mass was significant. So this one, ladies and gentlemen, is very clear. Hindi ko po ito gawa-gawa. It has been established. Large group po yun na. 1,000 plus po yung participants doon. And meron po scientific background doon. So yung low muscle mass. Okay. Of course, yung muscle mass is connected deeply sa working out. Yung working out can stimulate muscle mass. So meaning, if mababa yung muscle mass mo, which is the result of no working out, link po siya sa osteoporosis. And no wonder why yung mga babae, if you look at the gym, no, population, usually, ano nakikita mo, babae or lalaki? Di ba? 70 to 80 percent lalaki yung population. Bakit common yung osteoporosis sa babae? Because they thought 
and also I thought as well that yung working out isn't just for men it's for the young it's for the athlete well we know here that yung working out can help you can help your bones become strong why is that connected yung working out with osteoporosis your muscle po natin cannot function by its own they need support to function so yung bones natin of course surrounded siya with muscle mass Ano po mangyayari kapag walang muscle mass? Wala po siyang support. Tama? At the same time, it has been established that if you move at saka work out your bones against uh, weight through resistance training, yung bones po will become stronger. The same din po yung principle, di ba, sa muscle natin. If you work out yung muscle natin, becomes stronger and stronger. The same thing din po na principle sa bones natin. If it is exposed sa resistance, it will become stronger. That is why, if you know workout, hindi lang po calcium yung concern natin dito. In fact, you have to prioritize protein at saka working out if you want a healthier bone. No? So very, very clear na study dito. And okay, so that's number one, no? Osteoporosis as established by this study. Uh, nakita natin sa NIH. Okay, number two, depression symptoms. So. This is a bit controversial. Again, first and foremost, I'm not a psychologist. I'm just basing this on research and mga results natin sa study. So, again, I'm just reading to you ano po yung results ng studies natin dito. So, dito, depression symptoms connected siya sa lack of activity or workout. Sige, Association of Efficacy, NIH din po ito, ah, PubMed, okay? of efficacy of resistant exercise or yung working out, training with depressive symptoms, meta-analysis, and meta-aggression. So move tayo dito. Ito yung mga importance niya, objectives, at saka data sources. If you move here sa... When we talk about workout, we thought it's just about having six packs or chaka fitness. But here, very, very clear that it can significantly reduce depressive symptoms. Ano po yung practical effects? Bakit po associated yung depressive symptoms sa lack of activity? Usually, if you observe that, if wala kang activity, ano po yung usual na ginagawa natin? I've experienced that many, many times. A few years ago, when I was very down emotionally, Yung ginagawa ko po, I would focus on myself. So I would sleep a lot. I would okay, separate myself from people a lot. I would just use laptop a lot. So may loneliness na factor or separation. Okay. Isolation tawag. Tapos doon na stop din yung workout ko na activity. So walang workout talaga for many, many months. So anong nangyari? I was so down. Yung steam ko mababa. At the same time, of course, I developed some form of allergies. Medyo nagkasakitin din po ako dun na season ng life ko that was very, very measurable at saka dark. Now, when I tried to do something different, so sabi ko sa self ko, if I continue this, it will get measurable and measurable. I need to do something else. So I started with home workouts, okay? push up at saka squat. So I slowly, okay, getting back nyo sa usual ko na routine, Squat at saka push up. Alam nyo yung nangyari after I work out. I feel accomplished. Alam nyo yung feeling na nakatapos ka ng project or nakatapos ka ng some assignment. ba you feel accomplishment. Okay. May endorphins po na nilirelease or mga happy hormones na nilirelease every time you accomplish something. That is the same hormone as well that you will feel every time you check a to-do list. Diba may mga reminders tayo. We feel good every time you check yung mga to-do list. ba? The same thing with work out then. And also, practically speaking, yung focus mo will be on different thing, something else. Kasi if you focus on yourself, wala pong solution dyan. If you worry and worry and worry, wala pong magagawa yung worry. It won't solve the problem. But if you think something else, like working out, it can help you, you know, reverse, okay, divert your attention to something very productive. Okay? And not to mention yung mga health benefits ng working out. Ah. We're just talking about the practical effect of working out. 
you will feel good hormone wise it will increase endorphin which is the happy hormone so very practical and of course right now very very uh staggering your numbers in depression okay and you can see as well yung association with depression with lack of activity so we need to do something else especially nung pandemic ah nung pandemic of course stuck tayo lahat sa home walang activity most of us marami po yung nag uh, number one marami po yung nagdagdag ng weight okay at saka lack of activity i'm sure you can agree with that i have many friends na walang activity during pandemic so this is the time i like to encourage you this is the time to regain your health okay beginning mouse that's why i'm i always mention to you na yung working out is not just physical thing it's mental emotional if you want to deal with our emotional mental areas you need to prioritize workout you need to prioritize movement okay. very very interesting study okay let's move to the third thing that will happen if it don't work out okay okay this one of course this is intense but i will tell you why so premature death yung nandito but we'll discuss this uh, based on studies dito so again yeah. nih pubmed din po yung resource natin dito consequences of physical inactivity meaning wala kang activity in older adults a systematic review of reviews and meta analysis large photo na study ah. so dito okay if i move here okay okay move here dito okay heart disease okay not getting enough physical activity can lead to heart disease even for people who have no other risk factors it can also increase the likelihood of developing other heart disease risk factors including obesity high blood pressure high blood cholesterol and type 2 diabetes so ito po yung mga, mga activities nat uh, mga numbers natin and you move here no sige uh try ko zoom in ha, kasi wala sa conclusion tayo punta tayo sa conclusion pa sa Philippines. That's why uh, we need to back, uh, back it up with existing study abroad. Okay, hopefully meron tayong mga, mga eager na mga, mga groups who will focus on research no, para may data tayo na ipapakita. But this one is from US. But again, you, you don't need to go afar to see similar results sa mga people dito. So dito, one in two adults daw don't get enough aerobic physical activity almost 50 percent yan ha 40 percent above high school students 77 percent okay. don't get enough aerobic physical activity can you imagine that you sh when you go back like 50 years ago when i say high school students very very active yan physically sports engagement sa mga community di ba? and 117 billion us dollars ang annual healthcare costs related to low physical activity imagine na 117 billion us dollars ang uh, resibo when it comes sa uh, lack of physical activity magastos po siya and that is why if you don't have this facts no mga back up with scientific study we don't have a deep why why we work out okay we work out because we want to take good care of our heart heart health, lung health, we want to have muscles kasi yung muscles natin will okay, process yung extra energy sa katawan natin. Tinatawag po yung muscle natin as glucose disposal kasi po pag wala kang muscle, yung kidney mo lang po yung magpaprocess ng pagkain, ng kinakain natin. But if you have enough muscle, may pupuntahan po siya. May glucose disposal po siya. 
Other than that, it can help you emotionally at saka mentally. So, if you don't have this solid foundation, you will stop with working out, di ba? Kasi, hindi po, to be honest with with all of you, hindi po madali to have habit working out, di ba? Bugbugin mo yung self mo during workout, di ba? Some of you, uh, gumigising ng umaga, uh, one hour before the usual para mag-workout before kayo mag, uh, pumunta sa trabaho, di ba? It takes sacrifice. But, take a note, lahat po na worth yung sacrifice okay, is always okay, beneficial to you. Lahat po na shortcut, lahat po ng easy to get, most likely po, will not be beneficial to you. And that is why I will share to you a video now na related din dito. So, back up natin ang video para at least may inspiration tayo. I hope yung vid, uh, screen ko is okay na. Sige. Pakita ko yung video ko about sige. This one. Sige. Wait na nga. Okay. Bear with me. Few seconds. I will share this video. Okay. There you have it. Uh, share screen. There you have it. Okay, break free. Okay, from Adidas. Okay. Hindi po ako endorser ng Adidas, uh, pero sana all, okay? Baka naman Adidas, okay? So doon, yung message po niya, it's of course, we are being uh, surrounded, no? By the idea na not to work out kasi it takes effort and time. Maybe it will you know, increase yung risk factor sa bones mo or something like that. It will make your heart tired, okay? Meron pong stigma about working out. Meron pong idea na if you turn 60, you just need to mag, ano lang, uh, mag-stay lang sa bahay at saka mag-watch lang provinciano all throughout. Tapos mag-delay-delay ng, ng, ng halaman. And sometimes we believe na when you turn 40s, you have to depend on medications, maintenance for you to live. No, those are good things. But again, if you don't deal with the root of the problem. You won't solve the fruit that you want in life. So break free. Maybe you have been told na you need to be, you just need to depend on medications and do nothing and just to survive on a daily basis. Okay. Maybe na-trap tayo sa idea na hanggang dyan ka lang ngayon sa body composition mo or maybe with your health, you will live with that for the rest of your life with your hypertension, at saka type 2 diabetes, or maybe may inainda kang sakit na you feel that you will bring with you for the rest of your life. We have to break free. Meaning to say, we have to do something else for us to have freedom. Yung goal po ng working out is not restriction or being not limited. 
the goal of working out is freedom so that you can do the things you love in life. If you are physically fit, if you have enough strength, you can do the things that matter to you. You can do traveling. You have appetite or travel. You can carry your apos in your arms because you have strength. You can go to the second floor of your or maybe third floor. Or maybe you want to go for hiking with your family or loved ones. Or maybe you want to have swimming with your daughters and, and sons. That's the goal of having muscles. It's strength at saka longevity. And longevity is not just the quantity, the number of years. It's the life that you have in the years you have in this world. I hope that's clear, no? That's why we work out, why we do what we do. Keep doing what you're doing now. I am sure for most of you here, dito sa, sa live natin, you are working out because you understood the beauty of muscle-centric. The goal that we're having right now is not just weight loss. It's muscle gains. Kasi your muscle will protect you. If you take good care of your muscles, your muscles will take good care of you. There you have it. I hope that inspires you uh, to continue working out. Hello sa mga live viewers natin again. Uh, I'd like to have this Chris uh, Spiller. Good evening, Coach. You were right, Coach. It strengthens our immune system. Sa bahay kasi nilalagnat yung family members ko. Kailangan talaga regular exercise or at least three times a week. Chris, you are right. We prioritize working out so that yung immune system natin is strengthened. So that okay, we can protect our family, and so that okay, we can okay have this activity that strengthens our our body. Okay, so you are a good uh, inspiration at saka role model sa family mo, sir Chris. Pagpatuloy mo yan, Ma'am Christina. Good evening to you. Ganda, ganda po ng profile picture niya, by the way, Ma'am Christina. Uh, Ma'am Betty, good evening po, Ma'am Liza. May gabi sa iyo, Ma'am Liza. Ma'am Violetta Pugal, watching from Italy. Kamusta po yung weather natin dyan, ma'am? Watching from Bulacan, si Ma'am Tina. Of course, si Edith Sikat. Uh, good evening po sa iyo, ma'am. Thank you po for watching dito. Ma'am Blessy, brittle bones, especially menopausal na. All right. Yeah, that's a concern as well that we want to deal. That's why we work out, no? Uh, Notcha, watching from Kuwait. Kamusta po yung mga Pinoy natin dyan? Mga uh, new heroes, mga bagong bayani natin ng mga OFW. Ma'am Vilma. Uh, King Ian, good evening po sa'yo, ma'am. Okay, put your questions here. Sagot, try natin sagutan yung mga questions natin. Um, Debbie, okay lang po work out sa home lang yung walk-walk exercise. Well, ma'am, walk-walk exercise, that's good. It has benefits. It can help you with uh, relaxation. It can help you with your heart health. It can also help you, uh, you know, uh, burn yung calories na kinain natin, metabolism and something. But if your goal is to gain muscle, it should be lifting weights or resistance training. Amy wants to start with body weight. That's good. Start with whatever you have. Ma'am, Teresa Di Pamaylo, kamusta po kayo, ma'am? Uh, na, ito po yung avid natin na star sender. Thank you for believing in the campaign as well. Thank you for watching, ma'am. And Joe, Mac Cafe, good evening to you, ma'am. Great to see you here. Okay, sabi ito naman, Marikar, if gaining weight advisable po ba mag-cardio? Uh, resistance training. Yeah. Po ako, uh, five times a week to third. Okay. Ma'am, uh, I'm not sure what you mean by this. Ah. So, if you mean, ma'am, yung cardio training nyo po, ma'am, 30 to 45 minutes, 40, 40, 30 to 45 minutes, five times a week. If your gain po, ma'am, if your goal po, ma'am, is gaining muscle, it is, I think, too much na. Uh, what I would say, ma'am, if Yung resistance training nyo na cardio mama, if this is how I understand your question na, nagka-cardio ka 30 to 45 minutes, 5 times a week, that's a bit too much. So what you do ma, maybe my suggestion is, prioritize resistance training at least 3 times a week. Tapos, you may want to add walking lang muna with your workout. Walking. Okay, para po, ma, hindi po too much for you. Now, if you enjoy cardio po, uh, pagpatuloy mo lang yan, but as much as possible, mas madami yung frequency ng working out mo than your cardio if your goal is gaining muscle. 
Okay, gaining, uh, Ma'am Gloria, pwede ba yung after workout your drink coffee? Well, Ma'am, uh, that's a good question, Ma'am. No? So, bakit po tayo umiinom ng kape? Kasi we want to be energized, correct? That's one of the reasons why. So, Ma'am, but if you drink it after coffee, uh, drink coffee after workout, sayang naman. So, you want to use and capitalize and tap on caffeine sa kape for workout. So, I suggest, Ma'am, highly suggest, you drink your coffee 30 to 45 minutes before your workout. Okay, para may sigla at saka energy po tayo. Good evening. <clears throat> okay lang po ba working out five times a week? Now, Victor, depende po yan sa goal mo. Depende po yan sa level natin ngayon. So, usually, I would suggest for starters, ha, for beginners, three, uh, three times a week. As you progress, if you have more tolerance na sa working out, maybe you can slightly adjust it to four to five times a week. But again, start with the basic. Three times a week, full body workout. Okay. As for me, no, I'm working out five to six times a week. Kasi yung tolerance ko sa pain has improved. Kasi yung maraming taon na po ako nagwa-workout. But again, that is not applicable to you. That could apply to you or could not apply to you. So that's why you have to check ano po yung level natin. Ma'am Tina, okay lang po ba, Coach, workout cardio almost two months na po ako ng low-carb? Uh, yung cardio, okay. Yung goal ng cardio is heart health, lung health, burning calories, metabolism. Uh, if you want to gain muscle, it should be lifting weights. Now, to, to answer your question, yes, pwedeng pwede. Pero, if, again, depende po sa goal nyo. If you're into fat loss, yes, that will help you as well, yung cardio natin. Uh, but, uh, do some lifting weights, ma'am, to increase your strength then. Kasi our goal, again, at the end of the day, is not weight loss, but muscle gains. Ma'am, Violetta Pugal, ask ko lang, coach, nag-workout pa rin ako at low carb na rin ako almost one year. At patay na rin, at patay na rin. At nag-loss muscle na ako, di pwede sa extreme exercise kasi operation na matis. Ano pa exercise kahit sa bahay lang bago pumasok. Well, ma'am, message nyo po ako. Meron po tayong uh, home workout without equipment that you can follow. So, message nyo po ako sa page ko, tapos I will give it to you completely free. Okay, that's for starters lang. Ma'am Ina, uh, thank you for sharing your knowledge to us. Coach, I'm trying to lose my fat. My weight is 55 kilograms and your goal is to lose at 5 kilograms. Okay, so 50 kilograms in goal. Now I'm doing OMAD. It is still possible to gain muscle if I'm working out two times a week and five times a week after work. Okay. I'm trying to meet my protein. Okay. So Mam Ina, uh, first, never ne never po compromise on protein. Hindi po siya bababa dun sa protocol natin na 0.8. To 1 gram of protein per pound of your weight. Huwag po siya bababa. Adjust ka na ng konti, ma'am, sa carb at saka sa fat mo na content. Now, for working out, if yung workable lang talaga sa schedule mo is twice a week, okay lang. If yung workable for you five times or four times a week, okay then As long as you can sustain it. Kasi the name of the game is consistency over time. So, if you try to calculate it, maybe consistent ka twice a week per one year, okay siya. Diba? Kahit compare mo sa consistent ka once a month lang, of course, mahina siya if you try to calculate it for a year. Diba? So, the name of the game is consistency at saka long term. Uh, yung optimal, of course, is uh, you get five times a week if matagal ka na sa workout uh, than twice a week. Yun pong optimal frequency po. Given po na master nyo na yung form at saka execution. So, make sure po na tama yung pong execute natin ha. Ma'am Gloria, thank you po. My, my pleasure to help. Uh, good evening, Coach. Need ko na po ba mag-muscle building from 65 to kilo, kilograms to 55 kilograms. Sobra na akong payat. Four months in low carb. Gusto ko magpapakot siya yun. Thanks po. Ma'am Sunako, uh, nakahara. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Message po ako if you are into uh, coaching. I will try my best to look for a uh, slot for that. Kasi limited din yung, yung time ko for one-on-one -on -one coaching. But let's see. Message po ako so that we can see ano po yung possible program options for you. But yes, ma'am, you may start building muscles now with your weight na 55 kilograms. Okay. In a steady at saka safe na way. Okay. Uh, ma'am Blasi, when to take a bath after workout po? Pasma na kayo. Well, ma'am, that is one of the, the misconceptions now about pasma. And it 
It's been, it has been debunked many, many times. As you this, no, kahit mga athletes natin, after ng, ng performance sila training, some of them would go for ice bath. Bakit? Kasi for recovery. Now, I would suggest, ma'am, the, the, the sooner you go sa bath after open pa yung pores mo, the better. Okay, wala pong pasma. It has been debunked many, many times. Okay lang po to have a bath after a workout. Okay? Ma'am FJ Sanika, what exercise you can advise to look, uh, okay, to look for a year already? Zumba is okay. Thank you so much, coach. If your goal is fat loss, Zumba is okay. That's like to moderate exercise. If your goal is gain muscle, okay, go for resistance training. Go for squats. Go for bench press. Go for uh, lunges. Okay. So prioritize mo yung mga compound lift na sinabi ko. Start small. Maybe dumbbells natin 4 pounds, say to 4 pounds. Master nyo muna yung form before you proceed with uh, heavier weights. Again, it is always best to ask experts advice on this. If you have concern with your health, no, of course, mabuti din. Yung pinaka-wise na advice is go for medical clearance for that. Okay, before you go for workout. Evening coach, paano po magpa-coaching? Uh, Anali, message po ako and let's see if there is a workable program for you. Okay? Uh, Ma Madonna Guanlao. Aim not only for longevity but also quality of life. I agree with that 100%. Thanks for all the informative insights and knowledge regarding fitness. Thank you, Ma Madonna. Familiar po ng name niyo, Ma Madonna. Uh, I, I'm sure magaling ka po kumanta, Ma Madonna. Pero yes, kidding aside, thank you po. And I appreciate po, ma'am, for you mentioning the quality of life. Because that's the goal, eh. Yung six packs at saka good body, good body composition will follow. What we need to do is quality of life. That is the goal of working out. Okay. Uh, blessed C. I'm so blessed as well. Happy to help. Okay. Sabi dito ni Ma'am Annalie. Coach, ask ko lang din po. Along milligram po ang take natin ng potassium tablet and magnesium po ika? Ma din po ang pwede. 54 kilos sa po ako. Okay. Well, uh, meron po tayong recommended na na intake for potassium at saka magnesium. There are different kinds of magnesium din. So let's be specific bakit ko nang take ng, ng magnesium. At saka anong klaseng magnesium yung workable for your goal? Is it for sleep? Is it for energy? So meron pong klaseng magnesium for that specific potassium tablet. I need to review on this. Uh, but the last time I checked on potassium, no? Potassium uh, intake sa adults natin. Last time I checked, it's around Two five, okay. Uh, for adults, okay. Potassium intake is around two thousand milligrams average. Okay. Yung magnesium natin kung wari citrate, ah, okay. Good then for, that's good then for for our sleep. Uh, yung average natin is around two fifty mil uh orally, okay. And of course, uh, different than yung ibang two hundred fifty milligrams a day. Yung sa magnesium natin na uh, recommended intake. Again, it varies from person to person, especially if may mga specific needs na po kayo. Uh, good night. Yes, Mom Joanne. Happy to help. Good evening, Coach. Pag T-Mag, possible ba mag-gain ng weight, may protein and fat? Generally speaking, if you go for T-Mag, okay, and if your goal is gaining muscle, usually po, hindi po able yung katawan natin to digest all of those protein in two settings na. Kasi you are not what you eat, you are what your body absorbs at saka utilize. So kung maain ka ng 250 grams na, na chicken, hindi po lahat yan ma-absorb kasi too much na siya. So ideally, it should be okay, divided into three meals, generally. Okay? But of course, it varies then if mataas din yung needed mo for protein. Usually, it goes up to four meals. But safe to say, three meals. That is the recommended intake frequency of means for those who want to gain muscle. Okay. I hope I have answered all your questions. If you are in need again of, of uh, daily advice, not naman daily, no, but you know, we can have this community, yung Ninin Ho, for those who have not followed me sa page ko, okay, please do so so that si Facebook na po bahala mag remind sa inyo every time we have live, kasi from time to time, may live po tayo on the spot. So follow me on Ninin Ho. Again, for those who are not part of our group yet, low-carb fitness for 40s and above, you may want to 
start joining so that you will be part of a community. Again, your fitness is not meant to be traveled alone. It, you should have a team. You must be surrounded with support group. So we have a community, look our fitness of 40s and above. Join there, tapos scroll down kaya marami ng information dyan sa, sa group. And again, there's hope. We do this so that you will believe that you can still take back your life and do the things that you love in life. There are so many good things in life. And it's never too late to start again. It's never too late to, you know, go back and, and, and achieve those dreams na nawala na. Take back your life now. And again, this is Coach Tinin Ho, empowering Pinoys, especially the 40s and above, to rebuild their health by gaining muscles. God bless you. Happy lifting. See you next week, Monday, same time. Bye-bye.